Let's make my easy arancini with bolognese sauce. Saute your onions over medium high heat for two minutes or until they're translucent before you add in the rice. Let the rice toast for about one minute and then add in your wine. In this case, I'm just using plain wine, but you can also stir your saffron to the wine. Then add in your vegetable stock, or if you don't have vegetable stock, like I didn't, you can use vegetable stock pot and hot water. Make sure that your water is hot before you start to, you know, cook the rice. The rice will cook for about 25 minutes. Make sure you taste it for doneness before you take it out. And for salt, of course. It should not be mushy and should hold its shape before you add in the bolognese sauce. If you don't have a recipe for bolognese sauce, just click on the link above to watch my video on how to make a delicious bolognese sauce. You can add black pepper at this point, freshly ground preferably, and of course, some Parmigiano Reggiano. If you don't have that, you can use Parmesan. And now the next step is crucial to your arancini. After you've mixed the bolognese sauce and everything else to the rice, transfer the rice to a bowl or a tray if you have one and let that cool completely before you um, move on to shaping your arancini. If you're short of time, a good option would be to let that cool and then, you know, put it in the freezer for about 10-15 minutes. And then we move on to the shaping. Of course, not everyone is going to have um, an arancini making thingamajiggy. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure what to call this, but you know, an arancini shaper. Let's call it an arancini shaper. But if you don't have that, you can use your hand and I will show you how in a minute. So for this little gadget, what I'm doing now is making a hole in the middle of the arancini and then I'm going to put in um, bite-sized pieces of mozzarella. And after that, I will loosen the top and seal the mozzarella within. And there you have it, your arancini is shaped and ready for breading. And if you don't have an arancini shaper, let's use our hands. So all you have to do is just take about you know a few tablespoons worth of the rice mold it in your hand and make an indentation in the middle then put in the you know bite-sized pieces of mozzarella and cover it with your hand did i say just no, don't cover it with your hand i mean seal it with the rice and then proceed to shape it into the same um, cone shape as the arancini shaper Make sure to squeeze it quite tightly and ensure that there's no mozzarella uh, pieces sticking on the side. And now we move on to the breading. So you start off by dipping the arancini in the flour. It's better if you just do the step first for all of them before you proceed to dipping them in the egg and the breadcrumbs. I lined the plate that I used to put the arancini with cling film to help it be a little less sticky. So there's another tip for you. And now move on to dipping the arancini in the eggs and then the breadcrumbs. Preferably use um, natural breadcrumbs, um, but if you don't have that, you could just use your um, whatever it is that you have in the house, pretty much. Here 
Heat your oil to 190 degrees and fry your arancini for three to four minutes. And make sure to rotate them at least once. And your arancini is done. Lay them on a kitchen paper towel to drain the excess oil and serve them while they're hot. I hope you enjoy them. They're so cheesy and oh, so delicious. You absolutely need to make this. And I hope you subscribe and come back again. Thank you, bye.